All right, now that I've got your attention. So I wanted to try out a new form of video where I go over some of my favorite After Effects tips in a little bit more informal, less precise tutorial format. So here we go. Okay, so the first tip I got for you is from Philip Von Boris. Guarantee that's not how you say his name. Um, he's a very talented Germany-based um, animator, and he created this tutorial and this breakdown showing how to create 3D like amazing renders in native After Effects using the Cinema 4D render engine inside After Effects. So we have a new composition. I created a shape layer, and we're gonna try to kind of do this for ourselves. So if we go to the composition settings, and we go to our 3D renderer, make sure this is set on the Cinema 4D renderer. And then you can come down here and adjust your um, geometry options. So you can actually extrude your image out, which we can't see. Um, if I rotate this on an axis, you can see that we're starting to get um, some depth there. Extrude that out. That's pretty sick um, already. <laughs> like, what's the deal with that? We got an actual 3D object in After Effects. Well, check this out. So we're gonna drag in an HDR image. Um, if you don't have any HDR images, you can um, find them. Uh, there's a site, HDRI Haven, um, that has a bunch of free HDRIs that you can download. I think that's where I got this one. Um, yeah, so go check that out or as he pointed out in a follow-up tweet, you can actually um, create your own environment maps just in another um, After Effects uh, here, right here. So you can actually create your own environment map. You can see this is like make just using shape layers and some blur, um, and then you can use that as an HDRI. Um, super cool. So we right-click on here and you see this new option, environment layer. Click that, and now it is actually set as the environment in the lighting of this 3D scene. So I'm gonna turn up reflection intensity to 100%, and now you can see as we like rotate it, um, or here, if we go to the create a new camera, but, and then we're gonna switch to the camera tool. As we rotate around, this box is being lit by that HDRI. So it looks weird because it's perfectly reflective. Um, so I'm gonna turn down the sharpness significantly. Oh, well, that's like super grainy now. But um, play with these settings. You've got an actual 3D reflective object. And then you can actually animate this shape layer like you would any other shape layer. So if you want to adjust the roundness, boom, you've got a, a cylinder. How cool is that? Um, go check out Philip's tweet. Um, I'll have links for all of this in the description. And he has been posting all of these follow-ups to it, showing like how you can make this look as sick as you want. Uh, he did, <laughs> This is all in After Effects, don't forget about that. That's super cool. Yeah, uh, check out the link in the Twitter, play around with that. You can make amazing stuff in native After Effects. It runs pretty slow. Be, to be honest, you might as well pick up Cinema or Blender or Element 3D, um, but you should definitely play with this because it feels almost wrong to do this in After Effects and that's kind of fun. All right, our next tweet comes from Zach Lovett. And if you don't know Zach, he has made a bunch of really cool After Effects tools. Um, that you probably have used. Uh, you can see them all here on his banner. Uh, Explode Shape Layers, that was him. Flow, a lot of people use that. He's a really talented developer and shares a lot of stuff. So, so he released this free little scriptlet that kind of takes what was a smooth animation and stutters it. Um, it can give like a natural look to uh, otherwise kind of unnatural perfect keyframes. So if we click on this link, it'll take us to his GitHub. And I know GitHub is actually kind of confusing, 
um, but here's how you download it. You can click here and it will go to this code and you're like, uh, what do I do with this? Well, here's what you do with that. You click on raw and then now you actually have the JSX file. So you can right click, save as, and then navigate to your um, scripts folder. So I think I'm using 2020. You go in here and get rid of the .txt at the end. Um, make sure you're not saving it as a text file. And then you can just save it in there. You'll restart After Effects and uh, let me restart After Effects and I'll show you how to use the script. Okay, so here's how it works. I have this um, typing animation that I created using my typewriter preset, which you can also get in the description for free. Um, right now we have, we look at the graph editor, we've got linear keyframes, just perfectly smooth. That's not natural. I'm a horrible typer sometimes. So let's make that more stumbly. We'll go to script. Uh, where did we save that? All right, so we're gonna go to file, script, run script file. I can't remember where I saved that. And we will load up our key stumbler. And you can install this like any other thing. I won't use this like super often, but, um, and we'll just go ahead and use these default settings. So as you can see, all of a sudden that got really gnarly. Um, and we have kind of this really interesting, oh, backspace, backspace, oh. So that one's a little crazy. But we can go ahead and go in here and mess with all those settings until we get a natural, um, natural, unnatural typing effect. Pretty cool. Um, you can use that for, as he showed in the example, prog progress bar is a great way to use that. You should also just go browse through all of these scriptlets on here. There's some gold in here and he gives a lot away for free. So you can go support his work and tell him thank you. All right, so this last tip comes from yours truly. And it's one that I've shared before, but I'm gonna keep sharing until everyone knows it because this one blew my mind and really has helped me out a lot. And it also was kind of one of my first tips that kind of went semi-viral. So I think a lot of people have found value in it. So I wanted to share it. If you're trying to select a color from outside of After Effects, say let's try to change this fill color. If you hover over the color and then you click, it just, it doesn't work. It, it like we end up with this weird gray and it's really frustrating. You can do that though. If instead of clicking, you hover over a color and then you just hit enter and it'll select it and it'll just, it work, works perfectly. Hopefully this uh, blows your mind like it blew my mind. If it doesn't, you're a lucky person for not having to deal with this problem for all of After Effects history. If this was helpful, I'm sending out tips like this in a weekly email that you can go and subscribe to, link in the description. There's no strings attached. I'm just sending out an email with kind of my favorite tips that I find across the internet or things I find myself, uh, as well as some other resources. I will share some things that I'm not gonna have time to share in these videos. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you don't wanna get an email from me, you don't have to, but if you do, I love you. All right, well, that's all I got for this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.